very good morning to everyone. Firstly, thank you, Raki, for your kind introduction. Uh, I have accepted, of course, to be the uh, the Penang, the patron of these uh, bloggers, but uh, I, that does not mean that uh, I cannot be crit critical of bloggers. <laughs> I have my own ideas. And the reason why I take to blogging is because, um, as usual, I find that I cannot communicate. I could not communicate with the people for a fairly long period of time. So I resorted to joining the enemy. And, uh, <laughs> and then, of course, I had my say. But then there should be a degree of responsibility on the part of bloggers. We should have this uh, sense of responsibility because only then can we stay, uh, be accepted by the public because what we say is or true, or at least we think it is true, or it is nearly true. So uh, you, you can say quite a lot of things uh, uh, in your blog. I find this quite a relief because um, uh, sometimes we find that the uh, mainstream media uh, are quite psychophantic, even at uh, if not being willing to criticize, even though they are allowed to criticize. They believe that they should uh, support the current government all the way. And uh, it would appear as if they are part of the government. They are always praising the government. And the uh, general impression is that uh, it is the government which is forcing them to be supportive of the government, to be sycophantic. But actually, uh, they feel that this is their role. And they do not like to criticize the government. They think that uh, it is not for them to criticize the government. And so the government sometimes get uh, lopsided views about what the public is thinking. And uh, they think that uh, they should self-censor. And as a result, of course, it gives the impression that um, it is the government which is censoring them. It is not really the government. It is their... Uh, their I their attitude uh, in terms of their role uh, in as, as the mainstream media. Uh, they will support you when you are in power. And then, of course, uh, sometimes uh, you don't stay in power forever. Of course, I, I would have liked to be in power until death do us part. But I, I found out that when I stepped down and lost my power, uh, they switched their loyalty to my successor, to my detriment. It's all right to be success, uh, su supportive of whoever is in power, but is it uh, necessary that you should be nasty to the people you used to praise before? Uh, but I found that uh, since I was no longer in power, uh, Anything I say was not printed, etc. This was done not because the government stopped them, but because they feel that they shouldn't. Uh, that as the mainstream media, they should uh, um, reflect the views of the government and the government only. It was at that time that I decided that um, I should join the bloggers and uh, write my own piece. This is a system that allows you to say what you like without being censored. Even your grammatical mistakes get uh, read by people. Uh, so it is really a free media. We can say uh, what we like. Of course, if you are libelous, and uh, some people might take action against you. But uh, the ability to speak your own mind and be heard by everyone is very exhilarating. However, even though the government may not censor, other people might censor the bloggers. 
Uh, I was censored for five years, uh, simply because there is, uh, I was sued for libel. And uh, in this country, if you are sued for libel and the case is before the courts, you are not allowed to comment on the matter. So for five long years, I was not able to comment on a particular issue because I was sued uh, for that on, the, on that matter. Uh, the period is very long, five years, uh, merely because when the person who sued is, finds, uh, the court finds that he is not right, that I was not guilty, he will appeal to the next court. And when the next court also gives the same finding, he will appeal again to the higher court. And then, of course, he will appeal to a special court. So for five long years, uh, I was censored by one man. I don't think it is any, fa any fairer for a man to censor you than for a government to censor you. I think the government is more legitimate because uh, they are given the power. But uh, individuals who make use of the courts in order to censor a person, I think something should be done about that. Uh, either the court should expedite matters or else the court should regard such action as frivolous and throw it out. But uh, in Malaysia, of course, we don't do such thing. We go through the rigmarole until uh, five years pass before a final decision is made by the court that you are not uh, liable that uh, there was no case to answer. By which time, of course, uh, <clears throat> you have been deprived of your voice for five years. And on the top of that, I was sued for 100 million ringgit. And when I won, uh, I was adored, uh, awarded cost of 70,000 ringgit. So you see, anybody can go to court and sue you for a billion ringgit. And when he loses, he pays only $70,000. Uh, that, I th think, is quite unfair. You sue me for $100 million, and if you lose, you should pay the $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hinting this because the Prime Minister is present. <laughs> so uh, I, I think that uh, uh, bloggers should be treated fairly and justly, but if they step over the line, then of course uh, it is fair that uh, they should face the consequences of their indiscretion. So uh, I am here uh, as patron of this blockade, um, block, block house, and I hope that uh, I will be associated with very responsible people, very honorable, honorable people who will comment on what is going on around us because they wish to see good things in this country and all the bloggers of the other countries too would want to see their country better administered in the interests of the people as a whole. So blogging obviously has a role today because, uh, not because uh, there is censorship, but because sometimes People are too willing to be psychophantic and uh, supportive uh, of the authorities without their being told to support the authorities. I think people should once in a while criticize the government. Uh, of course, uh, I'm saying this after I, I'm no longer in the government. <laughs> <coughs> but believe me, um, even when I was in the government, it was frustrating to find just places for you. But it is equally frustrating when I left the government to find that my voice was um, not heard at all. So there must be uh, a middle way in which uh, we treat both the government and the people fairly through our blogs. We make comments because we think we can contribute towards the betterment of our own society, our own society and our own country and the world at large. So I hope that uh, I will continue, be able to continue to be patron of this blockhouse and I hope that uh, the Malaysian blockhouse 
will always be responsible in their comments, whether on the government or, f or against or for the government. So that is, uh, I hope, that will be, I hope, my role. And I would like to thank the bloggers for uh, choosing me as their uh, patron. Thank you.